Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna change the colors of her eyes now. She has green eyes, we're gonna make them more blue. Uh, so I'm gonna duplicate the layer so that we can see the before and after. I'm gonna use my navigator window to zoom all the way in so I can see both eyes at the same time. You have to do both eyes at the same time, otherwise they're not gonna end up looking uh, proper way. Now this is a low quality image, it's not a large image, which is why we're seeing lots of pixels here. So I'm gonna have some trouble, but I'm gonna try and do it anyways. You know what? On second thought, I'm going to, I'm gonna grab a different photo. I'm going to do this one instead, just so you can see a little bit more clearly. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to the eyes. I'm going to use my polygonal tool to select the eyes. Now, it's important that I turn the feather off. I'm going to go with zero pixel, because if I select the eye and hit and come back around, it will... Um, contract the selection by two pixels, which means that I'm still going to have some green in the eyes, which I don't want. So I'm going to select this eye. And I don't want the pupil, I don't want to color over top of the pupil, so what do I hold down on my keyboard to take away from the selection? Alt, yes. So I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to deselect the pupil. Now what do I hold on my keyboard to add to the selection? Yep, Shift. I'm going to hold Shift and select this eye because I want to do both eyes at the exact same time. Sorry. You're going to hold Shift for the first click. That's new and let go. And then what button am I going to hold down to take away the selection? Alt. Alt to take away, shift to add. Okay, so now I've selected the eyes. I'm going to grab my brush tool and I want a brush, okay, this is important. Do you see how big my brush is right now? That spreads out the color. I want to keep my color concentrated, so I need a smaller brush, just a little bit bigger than my selection like that, okay? Now I'm gonna choose a color, let's go for a blue. It's not very natural blue, but It'll do. Uh, making sure I'm on soft color, or sorry, soft light. I'm only going to click once on both sides. You might get away with two clicks. I'm going to do two clicks, but it doesn't look that natural, so maybe I'll, I'll leave it for now. So that's the blue eyes. Green eyes, blue eyes. So it looks weird when you're zoomed in, when you come out. Now I chose a really weird colored blue, which is why it's looking a little odd. Um, so you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the eyes more striking. Let me just show you this one thing before you start. Uh, this tool down here, where is it? Oh, right here. Um, the one that looks like a lollipop, uh, we have our dodge and burn tool. The burn tool, uh, I'm going to change the range to shadows. And I want a brush that's very small. Maybe a five. No, let's do seven. And I'm just going to outline the eye just to help it stand out a little bit more. 
You can also use this on the eyeliner. This brings out the black tones and I'm just going to click a little bit inside the pupil just to help that stand out. Now the dodge tool underneath or sorry on top of the burn tool is for highlights so click highlights and I'm just going to click around once it's really important with the dodge tool that you only go once you don't overdo it so it makes her eyes a little bit more striking um, you can also use the dodge tool on things like lips to add a little bit more shine and that's a bit too concentrated so just add a little bit more shine you can add shine to the hair um, it's looking a bit off so bring down the exposure a little bit and it'd be more subtle okay so give that a try